Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Endless Legend campaign. So, we are going to end our turn now that our movements are done. We're about to finish building the public library, which is going to be awesome. Get a lot more science. That public library will help out a lot. Ten more raw science per turn. Improve your chances of survival by building the public library. We've completed it. Okay, the reward is we have a public library. Eureka. How, how goody. I think it's just trying to, like, force me to build things that are good for me. Alright, a settler would only take six turns to build now. We do have a quest that wants us to build, to settle this region. We should probably start settling. I think trying to build tall would probably be a mistake. Got some more harness. Another titanium deposit. Let's go this way. Grab the other unit. Again, pathing through that forest takes a little bit longer. Okay. Um, two turns for advanced alloys still. Maybe we can even make that quicker. If we wanted to, we could spend one turn here and just get that done an extra turn early. That seems fine. Let's just try that for a second. Although, also, how close? Yeah, just one turn, we'll get another person. Nice. Can we buy out the... anything else? The sewer system for 134. We could just buy it. That seems good. I want it. And we've got a research. Advanced Alloys. Unlocks Tier 1 weapons made of titanium or glass steel. Okay. We've also finished the, the sewer system. I just bought that. Empire Mint. We should really get that. If I'm going to keep buying stuff. Let's get it. So that's only going to take two turns at our current focus. I don't know that we really want to focus all of our people on this right now. Probably production again would be nice. Hmm. I mean, really, it's it's just whichever one you want. We don't have a, a focus or anything that like, gives us bonus points to specific types of production yet. Besides, we've got modifiers. We do have empire-wide modifiers on almost all of it, but then also in that specific city... This city has... Well, the city list. No. You've not yet discovered the minor faction inhabiting this region. Yeah, we haven't even discovered the faction in our primary region. I need to explore down here. That's kind of funny. We've managed to find all these other minor factions and not the one that is in our region. What I was looking for is that I know that the Kuan Usk city has, um, not trade routes. It's got the public library, which increases 10% food of science production here. And I was wondering if I could find a city specific modifier to know that, you know, like doing, focusing on science here would be good. But, I don't know, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um... You know, why not? Let's... No, no, we've got too much to build. We need we need production. We need to get the bowers up. I think getting that bower out right away would be good. And no, we just don't even need the ranger. Yes, we do. No, we don't. I can make up my mind, I promise. No, don't go there. I didn't mean to do that. That costs you all your movement just to go up that stupid hill. Darn it. You're definitely coming back into our own region. So that we can equip you. Because you will be a badass. Okay. Seems like a good spot for a turn. Five more turns to the, bow the burrow.
Okay, you are in our terrain. You can search this thing, complete your mission. We just gained 80 dust. Another 80 dust and 15 glass steel if we go to the other spot. Which is going to be on the other side of our territory. Okay, well, that seems fine. Let's grab her up and send her over there. And let's also go to the hero interface. Just F5, inspect, and let's go ahead and equip your weapon. Well worth it, I think. She, sorry, he. It's a girl. He's a very feminine man. With his braids. But, um, yeah. Found some more black dust. You encountered a new minor faction, the Kazanji. The demons. Okay. Terrifying. So we spent all of our movement. We have three turns left until the Empire plan can be enacted. I think we're ready to end the turn. Apparently we have 62 points, whatever that means. We're doing good. Probably doing well because of the uh, influence that we're building up. Two more turns for Empire Mint, because we're knocking out production, trying to get that burrow. And you know, the more I think about it, having the burrow complete will just give us so much more production. And uh, here comes our hero. About to complete another mission. We have lots of dust at the moment. 80 more dust and 15 glass steel. Very good. And you're gonna go continue to explore so that we can actually, you know, know who is in our region. Now, we've got 20 glass steel and we had researched the, uh, the thing that allows us to do glass steel type stuff. So, how about we go to the manage armies and stuff. We can either create a new design or we can edit an existing design. The Settler actually has a, a long spear. Um, which is weird to me. Why, why would we make you with a, a long spear? You, you, can we just not have one? Apparently you have to have a weapon. Cost 20 production. You have no armor on. The fact that you have no armor on... Oh, double click to add or remove items. Hmm. Maybe because it's a default unit we can't modify it? Let's say we do a new unit, new settler. Remove this thing. We want a naked settler. No. Okay, apparently you can't do that. On the other hand, we could make like a special ranger. They could maybe use some of this fancy glass steel. It's a glass steel shield instead of a regular shield. So an iron shield provides four defense and gives block one. A glass steel shield gives four defense and also 10% initiative, 10% more defense. So it's a little bit better. Not that much better, really. A glass steel good crossbow. Compared to a regular crossbow, 9 and 1. Ooh, lots of initiative. Wow. Plus 13 initiative compared to regular crossbow of only 1. So that'll make, basically make them be able to shoot first, like really quick. But it does cost 20, 20, fid, uh, 20 industry versus 10. On the other hand, we could make some longbow units. I like that. Let's make some... Um, Oh, got caps lock on, apparently. Longbow. And we will do the glass steel longbow. Total production cost is 85 and 2 of glass steel. I like it. Uh, it's going to have an attack range of 4 tiles. Wow. Is that normal? Is it always 4? 
You guys have an attack range of four as well? Yes, you do. We're just awesome. We're just really big long-ranged units. Now, if we wanted to, I believe, if we took, like, a unit who's in our territory... Um... None of the selected units has a more advanced design. Are you sure? Oh, it's because I created a new unit. What if I were to do this? What if we went into here, took the Takari Ranger, and we edited this and did that? Maybe now we can retrofit, yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Do it. Takari Ranger 2. Cool. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, we don't really need the... Uh, oh, no, you don't want to go that way. We don't really need the, the longbow unit. That makes more sense that way, I think. Because as long as we have access to the resources, we're going to want to do that. And you cannot retrofit units... Retrofit the selected units outside of one of your regions. So you are stuck being a crappy longbowman. And that's okay. Okay. You are continuing to explore for me in long and distant paths. You've encountered a new minor faction, the Irsis. It's a vile snake. Infantry type. Assimilated assimilation effects plus 0.5 movement per pacified village. Wow. We need to assimilate some of these people. And these are undiscovered ruins. Forty more dust. Nice. So no one's exploring over there. It's kind of surprising. Two more turns for Empire Mint. Do we have any more resources to spend? Nothing that valuable yet. We have 283 dust, so I feel like maybe we should just buy this thing out. Yeah, I like it. Let's do it. Let's get that thing done now. Okay, the borough streets have been completed. Now that does bring, uh, okay, our happiness is, we've got our sewer system that we bought out, so it brought it up to 75, we're still happy. Adding the burrow reduced our happiness, or our approval by 10. Um, even after the die booster goes away in a few turns, we'll still be happy. So now we've got all this extra production in science, which is nice. We can actually build another burrow because we're already at 4 pop, so that might not be a terrible idea. Like building it here would give us so many extra tiles. Hmm. Plus 15 happiness per level on city tile. That's what I'm not really, I'm not 100% sure what that means. It's a lot of production for this thing, but I'm, temp I'm really tempted to build it. That's just so much extra stuff. And it says that the burrow can be used as a resource extractor, and this tile here is a titanium deposit, so we can start extracting titanium every turn. Which we don't actually have any titanium right now, I spent it all upgrading our hero. Alright, one more turn for Empire Mint. Let's uh, grab our guy, the first bear warriors. Let's go find our, our faction. Found some more ruins. Still haven't found the darn faction, though. Sendai. Cool. I haven't found the keyboard shortcut yet to switch to the next unit. Tab somehow selects cities, but it doesn't seem to select units. 30 more dust. Not bad. I think we shall travel in this general direction. Even more ruins. Cool. Okay. 
And we're building our third ranger here. I wonder, um... I'll have to upgrade it manually, won't I? I don't want to cancel it because, uh... Yeah, we'll just have to upgrade it. A settler might not be a bad idea. At this point. Maybe even more important than the burrow. That's 300 industry. It takes a lot of industry to get this next thing, but it's gonna be so good! That's tempting, I don't know. Hard to say. I think we knock out the settler first. And we shall end the turn here. Empire Mint is now done. So that's something else we'll want to build. So let's go to the research queue. We have um, six out of the requisite nine to go to the next tech level. We can do advanced alloys. Uh, we already have that, sorry. Never mind. Titanium extractor. Plus one titanium on city. Yeah. We already have, I think we'll already have that. Assuming we finish the burrow. This thing's going to be too good to pass up. We've got to get this thing. We've got so much science, so many science tiles in the city. Look at them all. One, two... Is that part of the city? Yeah. One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tiles that will be within range. So we need that. That's like 20 research. A new empire plan can be set up for the following turns. Okay, so we have 63 influence that we can unlock. We can do plus 3 dust. We can do plus 20% unit cost reduction. 20% science. We can do two things at once. Actually, we do three of these things if we wanted to. Or we could just bank our influence for other, other things. I'm going to do vision on units. That will give us a while that we'll have extra vision. It's still early in the game. I feel like exploring is very important. So, and the extra 12 dust we could get from stuff, I don't know about that. I don't think that's really that valuable. I mean, it is, but also we need to queue up the Empire Mints. Should be quite good to have. Is it more important? I mean, 75... Yeah, it's only 75 production. We should get that thing out first. Okay, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.